it doesn't matter where I'm fishing for whiting. I do find for big whiting, I absolutely love squid as a bait. It's nice and tough, and it makes sense because the whiting in this part of the world are in an area where there is a lot of squid. The squid eat the whiting, the whiting eat the squid. It's a bit of a war going on down there, and these guys absolutely love it. It's a nice firm bait, stays on the hook well, it sits well in the current when you, when you cut into a nice long strip. And best of all, it does attract those big fish. So what I'm gonna do here, I've just opened the hood up, and as all I like to do is just make really nice little long strips like this. I'll make a whole bunch of them. And as with all whiting fishing, when the fish fly, you wanna be ready. You might just get a you know 15 minute window. You don't wanna be getting bait done and all that sort of stuff. But for now, I'll chop that, chop that. I've got pippies as well, and we're ready to fish. You'll see there, this is my rig on this rod, which is my bait caster, it's an extended paternoster. So paternoster, we generally talk about having you know, the sinker on the bottom and the dropper of line coming off. And generally the sinkers down there with very short droppers, this guy we have the short dropper and a longer leader. So that sits in the current with that bait just wafting a few inches off the bottom. What I'm using here is one of the DX10 hooks. It's got that PTFE coating, which is super slippery, makes the hook last longer. It's got a cutting point to it. It is deadly sharp. And in the 1 size, yes, it looks big, but let me tell you, that is the ideal hook for catching any whiting, but a big whiting. When you get him on, you know it's gonna stay in there and you're not gonna lose him. 